Hello friends, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Online. Today I will show you how to make a basic logo in uh, Corel Draw. Basically, this is a very basic, uh, as, uh, you can say, a tutorial in Corel Draw. Many of my subscribers was asking for uh, very basic uh, assignment or a basic uh, tutorial for a beginners. So here it is for you. And so let's get started with the first lesson. I'll take a new uh, document and you can name it a logo <coughs> and uh, this is a size uh, right now uh, size doesn't matter right now you can take any of the size uh, to start and uh, this is of course uh, we can change it later on in which uh, we want to work um, if you want if we are predefined uh, like about the document size you can uh, you can set it in inches mm centimeters whatever and this is the color mode basically RGB is uh, red green and blue which is uh, of course it is used for web uh, not for print but CMYK is always used for printing that is C means cyan, da, uh, cyan and M for magenta yellow uh, Y means yellow and K means black that is CMYK and uh, the resolution I don't want to go right now but uh, it's uh, in Corel Draw it doesn't matter anymore for uh, it's only for preview basis so I'll say ok for new document and uh, right now we can set it to landscape so now it's on landscape I'll start with a box a rectangle tool and if you want a uh, perfect square it's not it's not co coming perfect square if you press control on keyboard it will be on perfect square so this I want to be in red if you see there are many colors but right now we want only red uh, in this time and I'm making uh, one more object if you press ctrl D on keyboard it will give the copy of the same object right see if you're seeing so there is another way of doing uh, a duplication uh, click on the object uh, left click drag don't release a left click and uh, click on the right or uh, click right click and you will get the copy so you can use this or either this I'm making a second copy I'll fill this with white I'll press shift to scale it uh, proportionately So now I want a box will be on perfect uh, centered. So for example, if somewhere we have done this, press shift and click bigger object also. If you uh, see a small uh, icon that is align and distribute, it's a very powerful and very good tool in Corel Draw. If you click on center and say center here also align, I'll say apply, it will be on perfect center. So now I don't want uh, this white box I want uh, it should be cut my this red object so how to cut this click front object this one and press shift on the keyboard and click the back and here these uh, the options are uh, uh, alive for um, if you if you select only one object there is no options over here if you click two objects like click front and back uh, there are many options like weld uh, trim simplify right now I want f uh, back minus front or front minus back so if you click front and back you can say back minus front so now it has been cut it and this is the only one object right now I'll take another box and it will be blue and it will I want to take another box strip it will be in white or whatever the color it is if you want to go for a gray no matter because we want to cut it and say this one one more thing I want to show you 
and if this object uh, is somewhere i want to uh, pull this object in the center of the page if you press p it will be on perfect center if you click and say p it will be on perfect center so right now i want one more copy of it let's say 270 i want this strip and this strip should be uh, welded uh, one one object so this is one and this is separate i want this object and this object should one so here is option called weld if you click it is got weld perfectly and clicking this object and this back object i want back minus front this is gone and if you press the blue i'll say p on my keyboard it will be on perfect center i'm selecting all and say control g for group press shift for uniform scaling now i'll take double click on rectangle it will be on whole page i want this blue no sorry white first again i am taking one more white so this will be in white now this object is going behind that i don't want so i am clicking this one i'll say blue so i want this object on behind this object so i'll say right click and say order and behind of this one so if you go and say it will be perfect fit like this so i don't want border so i'll say right click the border is gone clicking this right click border is gone border is gone now i'll take one rectangle say right click border i want much more border bigger border so i can type here say 35 55 is fine and i want slightly my page should go so i'll increase my width click on inches it will be easier i'll say 15 so i can stretch from here to here selecting this say oh yeah just stretch i'll say shift can increase this one now i'm clicking on text i'll i'll on caps lock say h d f c bank and say shift click on white i want bold and uh, for now uh, i have taken very normal blue color so generally uh, this logo doesn't have this this kind of color so i'll just click i want to show you how to change the shades uh, of the color if you see here is also uh, uh, blue so the value is there so if you press on left click and if you press along you will get a lot more of shades so i want this kind of blue see and i'll say right click 
so this is a group and uh, I, I will have to open it and group so if you press alt to select this one because here it's a box he always uh, will be selected so if you don't want to select this box say right click and say um, lock it will be locked object and now you directly select over here box then uh, press alt to select this box it will be a lot more of easier and click if you want same color you can take an eyedropper tool color eyedropper and say fill this one okay to click because it's a locked click I can say yeah and click again say unlock the object else click control G group so whole thing is now grouped I'll press shift and up key so it will be move perfectly up again I'm taking a text tool just change the color because it's not visible so now this logo is completed so this was my tutorial I'll press shift F4 and say F9 so this is uh, this was my tutorial for uh, uh, Corel draw if you have any kind of doubts or if you want some kind of tutorial from my side please do let me know so I can make for you uh, and for thanks for watching my tutorial meet you in next part of basic tutorial thank you